Okay, so late to start recording this one, but um, you see we've got a bit of a trade open already there. Greyhounds on the evening, um, Henlow here, and tonight at Henlow there's actually Greyhounds on the TV, so it's on Sky, um, and you get that on the live feed as well. You can see on the left there I've got the live feed um, navigator open there for a bit fair. And what that means for us is there's a lot more liquidity on these Greyhounds markets. So you can see at the top of the market overview there, which is actually um, minimised at the moment, there's £15,000 match on this market already, which is a lot for the Greyhounds, and it's already a lot um, for it to be a minute out. Now that's because of the TV coverage and all the extra people betting, which is ideal for us, because we can then use larger trades, um, and it means you know there, there's more scope for us to get our money out of the market, both winning trades and losing trades, um, should it go wrong. So what I'm doing here is I'm just plugging in the gaps a little bit um, just to try and top up on profit, catch a few extra little spikes. Um, and it looks like a favourite might come in a little bit more, um, although we're getting closer to the start now. But the important thing to take from this is the fact that liquidity is very different. So you can actually... Um, Target greyhounds. If you, if you know if you're interested in trading the greyhounds a little bit, even you'd be more interested in to trade it on the evening. There's more chance to make a, a bit more money, and there's more room for uh, if it goes wrong to, to actually to profit. You see, there's been a couple of little spikes in the market there, and it's just given me a little bit of extra profit. Although I seem to have lost it on the favourite there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's a it's a world apart to the other greyhounds markets which you'll experience. Um, and you can just see see the coverage on the TV there as well, which is always helpful um, in case it sort of goes past post time. So if I just mute that for a second, and then uh, what I'll do, in fact, I'll show you the next market um, that isn't on TV to show you the comparison in liquidity between the two. Um, and hopefully you'll see quite quickly why this is more interesting to us um, than than the next market. Also, to bear in mind, it, I mean, it's exactly the same with any sport. It's exactly the same with the horse racing as well. It said this just seems a little bit more extreme, um, or it's, it's it's a lot more noticeable between the two different markets. So you can see, in the end, there, there was twenty-three thousand pound matched on that greyhound market. Um, there was lots of money towards the end, lots of money being turned over, lots of money being matched. Um, so there's lots of opportunities to get in and out, good and bad, whatever. However, when there's less liquidity, um, there, there's obviously a lot less. Uh, possibility there. So you see the race has gone off. If we go to this next one then, um, at Paul, you can see there's three minutes to the start and there's 23 pounds match on the whole market. Which is absolutely shocking. Um, when you think in comparison to the other one, with a minute to post time there was actually sort of 14 grand and then at the post time there's 23 grand. So what I'll do for now is I shall pause this recording um, and then come back to it when it's sort of about a minute to post time and, and you'll see sort of the vivid difference between that 14 grand match on the market money being turned over constantly both on the back and lay side um, and then you know in comparison to this one okay so instantly you can see there's like a minute to post and there's 177 quid match on the whole market um, in comparison to 14 grand so you know that that in itself just shows you there's you know I'm not going to touch this I'm not going to touch this market for that reason um, but there's there's minimal amounts of money turned over and there's no opportunity to get in and out